How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Hey, Daf Five of Masechet Kedushin. Friends, yo, friends. All right, what do you want me to tell you? It's more Kedushin stuff. We talk about Shtar. I'm nervous. You're gonna start power washing. The power washers. I'm telling you, they don't stop. Yesterday they power washed twice. They just power washed, I think, a half an hour ago. I'm, I have a feeling they're gonna be back. Anyways, um, so. Um, so, 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 uh, so, all right, what do you want me to tell you? We're going to talk about Shtar, we're talk about, uh, Chopo Shtikum. All right, we're going to start in Daf uh, Hey, Amur Alf, all the way at the top. Mamash, the first word on the page, Daf Hey, Amur Alf. Umayin, Uminayin, Shab Shtar. So how do I know that Kiddushin can only be affected by a Shtar? We talked about how we know Kesef, we had two options for, right? We also had and, uh, and kicho kicho, we learned about uh, bia from uva Allah. How do we know shtar? Vidinu, it's logical. It's kavachomir. Uma kesef she'ein motzi machnis. Well, kesef, which you, is is not a valid instrument of divorce, right? As we we learned mesech tegitin, divorce is with a document. You have a document. You write how we have So so if um, divorce. Cannot be done with kesef. It's more uh, specialized, more limited. And yet, machnis, you can use kesef for kiddushin. So kiddushin seems to have more avenues available for it. Shtar shemotzi, shtar which is usable for divorce. Right, you write a get. So then eno din shemachnis. Certainly, then it should be a viable. Um, um, instrument for marriage, for kiddushin. Okay? Okay? Right, if kesef that cannot be used for divorce can be used for kiddushin, so then shtar, which can be used for divorce, certainly should be able to be usable for kiddushin. Refract the Gemara. The Gemara says, ah, don't uh, bring a proof from money from kesef because my kesef shekain podin Bo hekdish umay sushani. Right, but kesef is uh, unique. Kesef has its own strength in that um, you can uh, use it to be pode hekdish umay sushani. Right, if something is hekdish, you could buy it back from the gizber or umay sushani. Also, you could you could you could redeem with money. Tomer shtash ain't poden bo hekdish umay sushani. So. What you you know how were well, you just going to include for kiddushin uh, a star which is not a particularly strong instrument and in that it cannot be used to be po de hektish and meisur sheni the chesiv the pasuk says v'nosa na kesef v'kamlo that you have to talk yeah you have to talk to give kesef in order to be po de hektish so the gemara says I'm not convinced that star can be learned out as a valid instrument for kiddushin. From this Kalva Homer. So Omar Cross, so the puzzle says, you know what? The puzzle says, Vyotsu Vahoiso. Right, what does the puzzle says? It says, Vyotsu mi beso, Vyotsu mi beso, Vyotsu mi beso, So Makish, excuse me, Avoya li Yitzir. That we compare Havoya to Yitzir. We compare Kidushin to Gitin. And therefore, my Yitzia Bishtar, and if a get, if, 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 uh, if a document is valid when it comes to divorce, af Havoyanami Bishtar, well then, a document is also valid when it comes to Kiddushin. Because Makish Havoya Li Yitzia, we compare Kiddushin to Gitin, and if a star is valid for a get, then we will say that it is valid Oichit for Kiddushin. Um, okay. So, we pulled out a pasuk to teach us that um, shtar is valid when it comes to Kiddushin. But now, frek the Gemara. Well, we should say that it works both ways, right? If we're comparing Gitin and Kiddushin, so just like we're saying that, well, you can learn shtar by Kiddushin from Gitin, so let's also say, fakert, let's learn out kesef by Gitin from Kiddushin. Mahavoya by kesef, just like by Kiddushin, Kesef, of course, is valid, as we've learned. Af Yitzhiya B'Kesef. So let's say that divorce oichit uh, can be affected by money, not just a document. 
So Amr Abaye says Abaye nisht. You cannot use kesef when it comes to divorce because yomru kesef machnis kesef mosi kesef mosi. How can it be? Right, we're assuming that like you know, creating a marriage is sort of a positive thing, and um, 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 dissolving a marriage is a negative thing. And therefore, how could it be that we have the same instrument to affect? creating a marriage as is used for dissolving a marriage. I don't know if the right word is dissolving, but um, I'll use it for now until I think of something better. So, Machnis, Kesef Motzi, Sanegur Yeosa Kitegur, is it possible that a defender, right, something, uh, you know, so, is, uh, somebody who's coming to save us, to defend us, will all of a sudden become a prosecutor? That's something positive becomes negative, how can it be, right, so I mean, we wanted to say, we, the Gemara asked, well, we should compare um, Gitin to Kiddushin, and say that Kesev can affect Gitin, so Abai says that can't be, because how can it be that Kesev, which is used to create a marriage, which is a positive thing, how can it also be used to dissolve a marriage, which is a negative thing, but if that's the case, that you can't use the same instrument for Kiddushin as well as Gitin, well then Shtarnami, why don't we say the same thing? Right, we said Makesh we compare Kiddushin to Gitin, and if by Gitin you can use a document, so then by Kiddushin Oichit you can use a document, but shouldn't we have the same question? How can the same instrument be used for both things? Yomu Shtar Motzi Shtar Machnes, that a Shtar affects divorce, and a Shtar also affects uh, uh, Kiddushin, Kateger, Yeosa Saneger, is it possible that something, that, that the prosecutor becomes the defender? That something that's uh, negative becomes positive? So, and for the Gemara, that is not such a concern. Right? The fact that we say, Makeshavoy Liyetziya, and we say that just like by Gitin you can use a Shtar, so Oichit by Kiddushin you can use a Shtar, that is not uh, so concerning for us because mili daishtar lechud, mili daishtar lechud, because those are two different. Right? The nature of those two documents are different, right? If I take a bill of divorce and I put it on the table, and right next to that I take a bill of marriage and I put it on the table, right? I, I will immediately be able to distinguish between the two. The get, I'll say, oh, okay, that's the get. Because it says Hariyat Muteris Lecholadim, and that's the Shtar Kiddushin, because it says Hariyat Mikudesh Asli. They are two separate documents, so it's not literally the same physical uh, instrument that affects a get and a and and Kiddushin, right? Getting and Kiddushin, because of because the 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 the, the, the uh, actual document, the contents of the document itself is separate for each one. Whereas Hachanami Haikas Biluchud by Kas Biluchud, so. The Gemara suggests, yeah, but can't you say the same thing by Kesef? A fellow gives the Kesef Kiddushin and says, Ariyat Mekudesh And the assumption would be that if you give Kesef for Geirishin, you would say, Ariyat Mutaris Lechol Adam. So isn't that different? So Tiva Mi Acharu, maybe you're saying something different, but the coin itself is the same coin, right? If you take a, 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 a Shtar Gitin, a Shtar Geirishin, and you put it next to a Shtar Kiddushin, you can immediately tell which one is which based on the writing on it. If you take a pruta that you use for kiddushin and you put an extra pruta that you use for gerushin, it's the same exact thing. They, they're, they're identical. There's no difference in the in the in the kesef itself, and that is why you cannot use it according to Abayi. You cannot use kesef for gerushin because people will say, "How could it be that the same kesef that's used for kiddushin is also used for gerushin?" Saneger yeose kateger. Okay, fine. Okay. All right, all right. Rav Omar, Rav says, Omar Krav v'chos avlo b'chzivim miskareshes v'ne miskareshes b'kesef. Boom. So now Rav, however, says, look, simple. I'll tell you why you cannot use kesef for gerushin, because the pasuk says v'chos avlo sefer krisos. So he'll write it. It has to be a document that you write. B'chzivim miskareshes. She gets divorced with writing. She does not get divorced with money. Oh, remember the people that at the beginning of yesterday's stuff, they were making a lot of noise because they were going to the beach? Now they're making a lot of noise because they must be going to the shuk or something. All right. Um, I hope you get something good. Maybe you can get marzipan. That's a good thing. If you're visiting 
Israel's, uh, you know, get marzipan. I just noticed that they opened a new marzipan on Agrippa Street. All right. I mean, I don't go to the old one, so I probably won't go to the new one, but all right. All right. There's another marzipan. Oh, wow. There's a lot of, oh, that's, oh, my, my other neighbor's coming down the stairs. Okay. That's allowed. All right, so so oh, so we had the kasha of you know, why don't we say makishitzia lavoya? And just like you can use kesef for kedushin, you should be able to use kesef for gitin. So Abaye said, you know, uh, um, um, uh, you know, sanegria else kategor, it's a problem. Rav says, look, quite simply, you can't use kesef for gerushin because it says v'chosav la, you have to write it. Ve'ema b'chsivu miskareshes ve'ena miskadeshes b'chsivu. Oh, but the Gemara throws a curveball. It says, wait. Why are you so sure that Bechosav law means that when it comes to Gittin, you have to write it, you can't use money? Maybe what it means is that only by Gittin does writing work. By Kiddushin, writing does not work. A Shtar Kiddushin is not a thing. So, but the Gemara says, But the Gemara says, yeah, but what about um, Right, you have the Hekish, it says, Right, we compare Kiddushin to Gittin. And if Shtar works by Gittin, it should work by Kiddushin as well. So now we have two conflicting uh, verses. Right, from, right, on the one hand, we have Vyotsa Vahaisa, which we want to say means that you can use a Shtar for Kiddushin because we compare Kiddushin to Gerishin. But on the other hand, we have Vichasavla, which means that by Gittin you have to write it, which could potentially infer that by Kiddushin, you cannot write it. Only by Gittin, right? It says Vichasavla, right? Specifically Gittin, you write, but not Kiddushin. Kiddushin cannot be written. So how do we know which one to favor? Is the winner going to be the of Ahaisa to say that you can use a Shtar for Kiddushin? Or is the winner going to be Vichasavla to, to exclude a Shtar for Kiddushin? So now the Gemara says, Umari Isa, how come we're favoring the of Ahaisa? How come we're favoring to say that you can use a shtar for kiddushin? Because umara isa mistabra koi begeishim and geishim. Because it's logical to say that if we have the pasuk of vichasavlo, and it could potentially infer one of two things. It could infer that geishin, right? The pasuk is written by 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 gitin, right? Vichasavlo sefer Christus. That's a get. So if one possibility is that a get needs to be written. A get cannot be with money. That's one option. The other option is a get needs to be written. Kiddushin cannot be written. So if we have to choose, is it teaching us a halacha about gittin that you cannot use kesef? Or is it teaching us a halacha about kiddushin that you cannot use a shtar? Well, koi begerushin umumai, where am I? Koi begerushin umumai gerushin, koi begerushin umumai kiddushin. It makes sense to say that if the pasuk is in the context of gittin, it would be teaching us a halacha about gittin. Namely, that you cannot use kesef for gittin. It doesn't make sense to say that, 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 that it would be excluding, right, teaching us halacha about kiddushin that you cannot use a shtar, right? Again, if we have two options for what can be excluded from this pasuk, it, it, you know, it, it makes sense that what is being excluded from the pasuk is kesef by gerushin, not shtar by a different concept, which is kiddushin. And therefore, we do not exclude a shtar from kiddushin and instead, and um, we have Vyots of Aiso, we compare um, Kiddushin to Gerishin, and therefore you can use a Shtar when it comes to Kiddushin. Now, what about according to Vyosi Aglili, who learns out something else from Vichos Avlo? So, She'enim is Karesh's Bekesef Minole. Well, then, how does he know that you cannot get divorced with? How does Abiyosi Aglili know that you cannot get divorced with Kesef? Right? We just said that you cannot get divorced with Kesef because um, it says Vichosavla. Right? Bechsiva miskareshes, veni miskareshes, bekesef. Right? Because we had the Havmina to say that Makish Yitzi Avoya, that we should compare Gitin to Kedushin, just like by Kedushin Kesef works, so Orchid by Gerushin Kesef should work. We said, well, the Pasuk says Vichosavla, you have to write it, you can't use money. Rabbi Yosef Aglili learned something else from Vichas Avlo. So how does he know that you cannot use money by Gittin? So on my crow, the Pasuk says, Sefer Krisus. If you read the next two words, Vichas Avlo, Sefer Krisus. Sefer Korsa, Ben Davrachir Korsa. Davka, a, 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 a Sefer, something in writing, a document, is what affects divorce 
not anything else, not money. Rabbonon, hai krisus may abdile. What do the rabbis learn out from the pasuk of krisus? Mibayle, the dover akor is beinu levena. They need it for something that is a clean break, as we learned about mesechta gitin. Kedatani, as we learned about sareza gitech. This is your bill of divorce under the condition that you never ever again drink wine. Under the condition that you never go to your father's house ever again. In Zechrisus, that's not a, it's not a clean break, right? He's he's imposing his authority over her forever. She right, right because right she's she she's still connected to him in the sense that on account of his uh, authority, she's never allowed to visit her father anymore. She's never allowed to drink wine anymore. That's not a clean break. So that doesn't work. But kol shloshim yom, if for 30 days you can't drink wine or you can't uh, go to your father's house, hareze krisos, that is acceptable because, it, you know, wait 30 days and then it's a clean break. Rabbi Yosei Aglili, mikarus krisos ka nafka le. Rabbi Yosei Aglili learns that halacha out from, well, it could have said safer karis, but it says safer krisos to learn out both things. That, um, you know, that dafka safer korsa, vein de rachir korsa, and also um, 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 you know, that has to be a clean break. Uh, the rabbis don't have that limud of, you know, could have said karis, but it says krisos, they don't have that drosha. Okay, fine, very, very good. So we learn out that uh, a document, a shtar, can be used for the uh, kiddushin from v'yotze v'hoysa makish havoyo li'itziyah. Chadu mi chadu lo asyo, teisi chadu mi tarte, so, oh, oh, have you heard the kasha? The kasha is thus. The kasha is that um, we just brought three, right, we just learned out kasef, shtar, bia uh, from psukim, from verses in the Torah that, 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 that it is an acceptable, in, that they are each acceptable instruments for kiddushin respectively. The question is, do we really need the Torah to specify to tell us explicitly all three. What if the Torah only listed two of them? Can't, could we not infer the third from the, from the other two? So, so I understand why, okay, if we only had one example for Kiddushin, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to learn out another one just from one example. But but if, we, if the Torah would have listed two of them, can we not learn out the third? Hey, Tasey, well, let's see. How would this work? Which are the two that would be written, and what would be the third that would be inferred? So what if the Torah didn't have a v'yotz of So what if we didn't have a pasuk by shtar? And let's learn out shtar uh, from the fact that that kiddushin can happen with kesef um, and bia. But but kesef and bia are unique in that they both each have a pleasure, right? Everybody likes making money. Everybody likes beer. But uh, shtar, nobody needs more uh, documents. So lo nichtov rachmona bebeer. So what if you don't write beer? V'teisi me'anach and learn it out from kesef and shtar. No, you can't learn out beer from kesef and shtar because malahanoch shekein kinyon and meruba. Kesef and shtar or, or, or you, you can acquire significant things with Kesef and Shtar. Right? You can acquire property with Kesef and Shtar. You cannot acquire property with Bia. So therefore, um, so therefore, therefore you can't learn out Bia from Kesef and Shtar because they they have their own unique uh, characteristics. Okay, so why don't we leave out Kesef, Vitesi Manach, and learn out Kesef from Shtar and Bia. But Malahanoch, Shekin Yeshnon, Bal Korcha. Well, Shtar and Bia both have an aspect of against her will. That, uh, as we know from Masech Degitin, a woman can get divorced against her will. And we also, um, also the, as we know from Masech Degitin, that, uh, you know, Yivama Yavo Alea Afilu Bal Korcha. Or Vyibma, I think. Afilu Bal Korcha, right? That, right? That Yibum, that Bia, by Yibum, can even be Bal Korcha, and then they are married. So, so, both uh, Bia and 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 uh, and Shtar have this uh, 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 characteristic of Bal Korcha, which is not the case by Kesef. And if you're going to say, what do you mean? 
Kesef also has against two will. A father can sell his minor daughter as an Amma Ivriya, you know, whether she wants to or not. But Be'ishus Mia Lo Ashkechan. Yeah, but we're talking about uh, marriage over here. Um, and, uh, right, but Yibum, uh, Gi'in, those are marriage related things. Amma Ivriya is not a marriage, directly at least, not a marriage related thing. And therefore, we are not talking about it. And that is why Kesef is different than uh, Shtar and Bia, and therefore it cannot be learned out from them. And that is why we needed, um, you know, a psukim, a psukim for each um, category. Kesef, Shtar, and Bia, we would not be able to learn them out any other way. Okay, so now we see an interesting opinion of Rav Huna. Um, Rav Huna says Rav Huna. Chupa kone mikal v'chomer. So Rav Huna says, Look, I know that the Mishnah mentioned Kesef, Shtar, and Bia, but let me tell you something. There's a fourth. The Gemara is going to ask later on, but the Mishnah specifically says three. Seder. Rav Huna says there's a fourth. Chupa. That Chupa, I think the way I understand is that Chupa, if a fellow, um, right, Rav Huna says that, uh, you know, that, uh, that a woman can get uh, married, can get, um, so I think it's, I imagine that the chuppah would serve for both. We're saying, okay, Rav is saying that the chuppah can work for Kiddushin, right? We've talked about Kesef, Shtar, Bia, but chuppah can also work for Kiddushin. I'd imagine that it would work for Kiddushin as well as Nisum at the same time. I don't know. But anyways, chuppah works for Kiddushin, says Rav right? So I'm Rav Huna, chuppah kone, that chuppah works for Kiddushin. Mikal v'chomer from, akal v'chomer. Uma kesef she'enu ma'ichil b'tshuma. Well, kesef, right, if a fellow is, is Makadesh, a woman be kesef, and now they're engaged. She cannot eat truma until they get married, until nisuin. Meaning, if she's a bas Yisrael and he's a koyin, so if he's mekadesh or be kesef, and now they're engaged, she cannot yet eat truma until nisuin, until they get married. So, and yet kone, it works for kedushin. Chopa shemaychel is betruma, but once there's chopa, once there's nisuin, and now. This Bas Yisrael who's married to a coin can now eat truma. So chupa has, right, is, a, is able to, right, can enable a woman to be able to eat truma. In Udin, Shetikne, certainly it should work for Kiddushin. If Kesef, which does not allow her to eat truma, works for Kiddushin, chupa, which allows her to eat truma, should certainly work for Kiddushin. But in fact, the Gemara, that, 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 that logic is actually wrong. V'chesef eino maichir? What do you mean that being Mekadesh a, a, a woman be kesef does not allow her to eat truma. V'amar Ula Ula says the Torah that make her then mida oraisa arusa bas Yisrael ocheles be truma. And a betrothed bas Yisrael who is betrothed to a a a, a koyin can eat truma mida oraisa. Shenemer as the pasuk says v'choyin ki yikne nefesh kinyan kaspo that if a koyin acquires somebody via kesef. The high Kenyan Kaspo who and uh, if you're Makadish woman Bikesef, so it was a Kenyan Bikesef. And therefore, Me Ikra din she can eat Truman. Umatam Amu Eno Ochelis, how come then we say that she doesn't eat Truman until Nisuin? We've learned we've seen this before. Gizer Shamim Zugula Kos, Bebe Savia Vitashkenu la Achia Vlachi Osel. Well we're we're simply concerned because since okay, Me Ikra din, a Basisral who gets betrothed to a coin can already start eating. Truma, because it's Kinyan Kaspo. The problem is, is that until Nisuin, she's still living at her father's house. And that is going to be a buggy situation because she's in her father's house. Everybody there is, is Zarim or non Kohanim. If she's the only one eating Truma, you're asking for a mess, right? Somebody in the house is going to end up eating her Truma. And that's a problem because Azar, Azar can eat truma misibideshimaim. So therefore, we say, look, as a, a, you know, as as a protection to make sure that nobody eats truma, we say don't eat truma until nisuin, and you move in with your husband, and then you know there's not going to be any zarim around. You can eat truma, but meikar adin kesef does work for truma. So there goes the kavachomer. The kavachomer is well, if kesef doesn't work for truma, and yet it works for kedushin, chupa which works for truma should definitely work for kedushin. But the truth is, kesef does work for truma. Just midirabanan, we say not to because it's risky. Ela prichachi ras rather ask the following question. Um, uh, the uh, following uh, um, question. Uma kesef she'eno gomer kone. If kesef 
which does not complete the marriage, and yet, um, and yet it can be used for a kinyan. Chupa shegomeres eno din shetikne. Chupa, which completes the uh, marriage, certainly it should work for kedushin, right? If kesef, which doesn't complete the marriage, works for kedushin, chupa, which completes the marriage, uh, certainly should be able to work for kedushin. But madli kesef shekain podinbo hakedesho sumaiser sheni. Yeah, but uh, no, one second. I understand why I can use uh, kesef for kedushin because kesef is unique. It can, you can use kesef also by by hakedesho to be poda hakedesho to be poser poder meiser sheni. Okay, fine, but bia tochiach. Okay, but what about bia? Bia can't be used for kesef kidu for for, for to be makdish hakedesho so meiser sheni, and yet it can be used for kedushin. But male bia shekain kona biyivama. But oh, so bia can be used for kedushin. Yeah, but bia is has its own sort of unique characteristics, and that bia can be used for yibum. So kesef yochiach. Okay, so why don't we learn it out from kesef? Because of adin. Then we have the same question that kesef could be used for act to be pulled act to shemay sheni. Lower izek or izev, lower izek or izev. Look, you know. We try to learn out from Kesef, we say, yeah, but it has its unique uh, characteristics. We try to learn out from Pia, it has its own unique characteristics. Look, Atzad HaShav the 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 common characteristic between Kesef and Pia, Shekinyin, Shekonin, Be'amo, Be'konin, Khan, that can, that they can be used, Kesef, Pia can be used in general for Kinyonim, right? Whether it's uh, by Yibum, whether it's by Ekdeshos and 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 uh, and, and uh, Maishr Sheni. And it can also be used for kiddushin. So afani avi chupa. So also include chupa shekone ba'alma that um, right that it is a kone that it completes the um, um, that it that right that it completes the marriage that that um, now the husband is able to uh, inherit her and to be made for a nedarim by himself. So v'kone kan it should also be kone by Kiddushin. But one second, no, you want to say Tzad HaShavah Sheboyen, that look, at the end of the day, both Kesef and Bia can be used uh, uh, um, to be, um, to be, to be, um, to be, to be Kone, and it also works for Kiddushin, so also Chupa should work for Kiddushin. But Kesef and Bia are unique in their own way, in a way that Chupa isn't, and that Kesef and, 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 and Bia have pleasure, have, have, have no. Okay, fine, so Shtar Yuchir. Okay, but what about a Shtar? Shtar doesn't have Hano, and yet it works for Kiddushin. But Mal Shtar, Shekin Motzi Babasi Surah. But what about a Shtar is unique in that it's able to, a, a woman can get divorced with a Shtar. Which makes it unique, but kesef uvia yochichu. Okay, but then forget about shtar. What about kesef and bia that cannot be used for divorce, and yet they can be used for kiddushin bechazer adin. But then you have the same kashas that well, but they have hanah. So lo rizek, rizek, lo rizek, rizek. Look, um, um, shtar has its own issues. Kesef and bia have their own issues. Atzad shavu sheboyin. But uh, what 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 the shared characteristic is shekon ba'am of and kan that they can be used for kinyan in general and they're also used by kiddushin afani avi chupa so I'll also include chupa shekon ba'am of and kan that it can be used for kinyan in general and also for kiddushin but malat zara shavu shebo'in shekin yeshnon ba'al korcha but what about the fact that kesef shtar and bia are unique in that they all have an aspect of against her will right. Um, shtar by Gittin, uh, Bia by Chalitza, and Kesef by an Amo Ivriya. But Ravuna, Kesef Mia Bishus, Loash Kachon Balkorcha. But Ravuna says that actually is not a good question because, in the context of marriage, uh, there is no uh, um, uh, against her will when it comes to Kesef. Um, and therefore, we can, according to Ravuna, get, you know, learn this Tzad Ashove that we could say that, look, Kesef. Shtar and Bia are all able to be Kone in general, and they also work for Kiddushin. So also Chupa, which can be Kone in general, right? That that the, that this fellow is now Kone entirely, his wife to inherit her, 
to uh, be made for Nadarim alone. So therefore, Chuppah can also work for um, Kiddushin. Okay, fine. Oh, 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 the yellers are back. Old yeller. Okay. So, Omar Rav, fine. Very good. Very, very good. Omar Rav says, Rav, by the way, when you listen to the recording, you hear like all the noise in the background, right? When I listen to the recordings, I totally hear it. Like, I feel like I'm listening to the recording and then I hear somebody, like I hear like people yelling outside, I hear the power washers, I hear all sorts of stuff. And then I'm like, I feel like I hear it in the background and then I hear myself complaining about it. But like, you hear this stuff, right? It's like you're listening, all of a sudden you hear somebody yell in the background and then I start complaining. But like, you hear what I'm talking about, right? I hear it when I listen to it. Okay, fine. So, so, so we just learned, uh, fine. So we had sort of these very spaghetti, stringy kava homers. I think I was talking about kava homers yesterday and saying how like, they get really like stringy because they're all logic and you have to like hold all that logic in your head until it gets garbage collected at the end. Um, so anyways, we got through this whole like logic thing, which is over now. But what we proved through it is how Rav Huna learns that um, Chope, by way of a bunch of Kava Homers, Chope can also, you can be Mekadish a woman with Chope. So Amar Ravish de Tshuva's Bedavah. But Rav has two kashas. Chada, question number one. The Shalosh Tanan, Vidal Lotanan. The Mishnah said, Haishin Egnez Vishalosh Drachim. That uh, Kiddushin can be in one of three ways. This, right? Not four. Chope would be a fourth. Ve'odin more so, Klum chupa gumeres ela ayide kiddushin. Chupa, right, the, right, 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 the whole thing is that, you know, chupa is able to complete the marriage. So certainly it should be able to start the marriage. Chupa only completes the marriage. As far as we know, chupa only completes the marriage once there was already kiddushin by one of these other three ways. Well, from the fact that chupa is able to complete the marriage when you had already had kiddushin with, say, kesef, and from there we'll learn out that Chuppah should also be able to do Kiddushin even when there is no Kesef. So Abai, Abai says, Look, Hodiko, Amart, Gimel, Tanan, Vidal, Lo, Tanan. So Abai says to Ravah, Look, your first question, that, but it says in the Mishnah 3, not 4. Look, Tana, Milsa, Tachsiva, Behedja, Katoni. When the Mishnah says 3, it's saying that there are three methods of Kiddushin that are explicitly written in the Torah. And that is Kesef, Shtar, and Bia. Milsa, Tlo, Ksiva, Behedja, Lo, Katoni. But, Anything that is not explicitly written in the Torah, such as uh, uh, Chuppah, which is learned out by, by a Kav Chomer, is not included. That's not to say that Chuppah doesn't work. It just wasn't listed in the Mishnah because it's not listed in, it's not written in the Torah explicitly. It's learned out logically. And the question he had is that, yeah, but Chuppah, we only know, you know, to begin with, that Chuppah works to complete the marriage only once there was already Kiddushin. Rafuna Nami Ochi Kamer, look, this is what Rafuna is saying. Uma Kesef Sheino Gomer Acher Kesef Kone, that if you're a Makadish woman be Kesef, you can't complete that, that can, you can't do Nisuin with Kesef. Chupa Shugomeris Acher Kesef. Chupa, which once there was Kedushin with Kesef, you can do Nisuin with Chupa. Well then, Eino Dinche Tikne, well then certainly I should be able to use Chupa also for Kedushin. That is how Ravuna would respond to that question. Okay, I think that we're done with like kind of the like brain draining. Uh, I wouldn't say brain draining, but the kind of the, the, the brain exercise of Kava Homers and all that kind of stuff, I think, is behind us for now. Tanner Rabban and the Rabbis taught Ketzad Bekesef. How does it work to be Makadish, a woman with money, with, with Kesef? Nasan la kesef o shove kesef. If a, if a fellow gives to a fellow kesef or shove kesef, something worth money, such as a ring. And he says to her, Harat mikudeshes li, you are mikudeshes to me. Harat me oreses li, you are betrothed to me. Harat li le into, you are to me a wife. Harat mikudeshes, this works. Aval, but he she nosno ve omra he, but if she gave him a ring and says to him, Hareini Mikudeshes Licha, I am betrothed to you, Hareini Mioreses Licha, I am betrothed to you. Hareini Licha Le Intu, I am to you a wife, Eni Mikudeshes. She is not betrothed. 
Maskif Lord Papa. Rav Papa now asks Akasha. Time of the Nosan Hu, the Omar Hu. So the Rasha says that he gives her the Kiddushin and he says, Harem Kudeshesli, implying Honosan Hu, the Omar Hi, that if he would give her the Kes of Kiddushin and then she would say, Hare, what does it say? Hare ni Mikudeshes Licho, in a Mikudeshes. That implies that that would not work, right? He needs to give the money and he needs to say, Harem Kudeshesli. If he gave the money and she said it, that would not work. But Ema Seifa, but what about the Seifa where it says, that if she both gave him the money and says, that would not be valid Kiddushin, that's, that's only because she's the one who gave it and she's the one who said it. But if he would give the money and she would do the saying, it implies that that would work. So I don't understand. From the ratio, it implies that if he gave it and she said it, it would not work. From the safe, it implies that it would work. Which one is it? So Reisha Davka Seifa Kedin So the Gemara says, look, the Reisha is real. The Seifa was mentioned for no reason. Don't worry about it. Just take the Reisha into consideration. Vitani Seifa Milsa the Sasule the Reisha to which the Gemara says, come on, that makes no sense. Okay, fine. It's one thing if you want to say, like, okay, only pay attention to the Reisha. Don't worry about the Seifa. But don't say that when the Seifa literally contradicts the Reisha. You can't just have a Bryce that has a Seifa that literally contradicts the Reisha and then say, oh yeah, just don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? This is a big deal. So, this is what it's saying. Nosan hu ve'omar hu that if he gives her the Kiddushin, the Kesef, and he's the one who says, I read Mekudash to sleep, she did have a Kiddushin. Obviously, it's Kiddushin. Now, Nosan Hu, Ve'amrahi, but if he gives her the, the money, but she says, I read Mekudash to sleep, well then, Naisa Kimi, She Nosan Hu, Ve'amrahi, well then it's as though, now we move on to the Seifa, it's as though she gave him the, the Kesef, and she said, I read Mekudash to sleep, Ve'lo, have a Kiddushin, and it is not. Valid Kiddushin Vibay Seima, alternatively, Nasan Huva Omar Hu Mikudeshis. Look, if he gave the money and he said Ariya Mikudeshis Li Mikudeshis, Nasna Hiva Omar Hi, and if she gave the money and she says Ariya Mikudeshis Lucha, Ena Mikudeshis. She's not Mikudeshis. Nasan Hu Va Omar Hi, but if he gives the money and she says Ariya Mikudeshis Lucha, Sveke Ivi Hashina Midrabad, well, we don't know. In that case, it's a suffix. We're not sure. And uh, we have to be concerned, at least Midir that, um, that it is um, a valid Kiddushin. And therefore, you know, if somebody else would come and be Mekadish her now, so she would need a divorce from both of them because we don't know. If, if you know, if, if he gave her the money and she said, I we're not sure. Is she Mekadish to the first guy? Is she not? So therefore, she would need to get from both of them. Omar Shmuel says, Shmuel, be kiddushin, when it comes to Kiddushin, Nasan la kesef, vishave kesef, if he gave to her money or the equivalent of money, the Amr la, and he says to her, Hareat mi kudeshes, he says, you are mi kudeshes, but he doesn't say to me. Hareat mi oreses, you are betrothed. Hareat le into, you are a wife. Hareza mi kudeshes, she's mi kudeshes. Hareni isheikh, but if he says, I am your husband. Hareni Bailech, I am your husband. Hareni Arusech, I am your betrothed guy. Ein kan beis michosh. It's absolutely nothing. Vechen begerushin, and similarly by gerushin, no san lo ve'omar lo. If he gives her a get, I imagine it says to her, Harad mishuleches, you are sent away. Harad migoreshes, you are divorced. Harad muteris the choladim, you can, you are permitted to everybody, to any fellow. Harizo Migoreshes, she is divorced. Any Ishech, but if he says, I am not your man, any Bailech, I am not your husband, any Arusech, I am not your betrothed guy. Ain Khan, Beis Michush, there's nothing, there's nothing to talk about. It doesn't work at all. Amr the Republic of says, the Republic of the Memra, is this to say, the Sovah Shmuel Yodaim, Shin Mukhichus Abin Yodaim? So in the Reisha, Shmuel said that if a fellow gives, uh, you know, Kesef Kedushin to a fellow and says, Hariat Mikudeshes, and he doesn't say Li, and it's a it's a valid Kiddushin. So does that imply that Shmuel holds Yodaim Shein Mochichus? We learned this in the context of Nidarim, right? That something that isn't entirely clear, it's still enough to hold on to, it's still enough to be considered valid. That if he says Hariat Mikudeshes, but he doesn't say Li, it's enough. 
but we learn in the Mishnah. Ha'omer Ehe is from uh, is from Nazir that if a fellow says I will be okay, Harini Nazir he's a Nazir. But we ask, maybe he's saying I'm going to fast. How do you know it means I'm a Nazir? From Shmuel says Shmuel vehu shehaya Nazir over lefanov. Well, Shmuel says it only works if a Nazir was passing by, because in that case it's clear. In that case, it's clear that when he says, eh, hey, he's saying, I'm going to be like that guy. But time of the over the fun of it. It's only because there's a Nazir passing by. But if there was no Nazir passing by, we wouldn't assume that it's talking about, that he was talking about being a Nazir. So we, we say, right, right, that if it's not clear what's, what, what he's saying, then it doesn't work. And therefore, how can Shmuel say that Hariat Mekudeshes works if he doesn't say Li? So Achav Ma'eskinu to Amar Li. So it's talking about where he says Li. Hariyat Mekudesh Li. Yochi Ma'ay Kamashman. But if he's saying Hariyat Mekudesh Li, then what's the Chiddush? We know that already it works. So Hani Lishni Basroi Kamashman. In Achinami, yeah, we know that if he gives her money and says Hariyat Mekudesh Li, we know that that works. Yeah, that's not a Chiddush. But the Chiddush is what we needed to learn about is the is the flip side that if he says um, what was it um, Hariyat what did he say? Um, where am I? Okay, okay, okay. Hareni Isheikh, I am your man, or I am your husband, or I'm your betrothed guy, right? Instead of, right, you are Mikudesh's to me, but I am your man, that does not work. And that's the Chiddush. Yeah, in a Chanam, Ariyat Mikudesh's Li, there's no Chiddush. But Hareni Isheikh, that's what we have to learn about, that, 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 that it does not work. Hochak Siv, it says, Ki yikach, below she yikach it says that he needs to take her, not that he makes himself taken to her. And also by Gerushin it says that he sends her away, not that he sends himself away. That's why those the shonas don't work. Friends, that was Dafe of Mesechta Kiddushin, the first part of the Daf. We learned about how do we know that you can be Mekadesh, a woman with a star. We learned about Makesh Avoy right? Vyotso, Vihaisa. We learned out Rav Huna's interesting opinion that Chupa can work. For, right, as, as one of the ways of Kiddushin as well. Um, and then we learned about, you know, when he says, uh, you know, Davka, he has to give the money and he has to say, Hariat, Mikudash uh, you know, it, it can't be any other way. Friends, that was Dav Hey of Misech Kiddushin. Of course, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.